Hi guys, welcome back to Beauty Talk. So today I'm gonna be doing the easiest brow tutorial that you're ever gonna see. It's one of my favorite techniques that I like to use all the time. I'm gonna try my best to make sure that this is gonna be the easiest eyebrow tutorial you're ever gonna follow, it's gonna be great. Little fun fact about me, I make most of my money doing eyebrows and I do permanent makeup. My own signature nano brow technique is called Hyper Real Brows. I teach eyebrows at Hyper Real Academy at hyperrealacademy.com and that is where I teach students how to do permanent makeup, how to make a living out of it, how to become financially independent, financially stable. You can make a lot of money if you're good. So if you guys want to learn how to get good, how to become the top 1% of permanent makeup artists in as little as six months, go on hyperrealacademy.com and I can train you online, I can train you in person, and I can license you anywhere in the United States. So I'm looking forward to meeting more students, meeting more young professionals that want to get started and get their financial independence. I think the so. lighting is kind of weird. Can we talk about how nice it is outside? It's so pretty. Ah, it hasn't been this clear in a while. It's really nice. Okay, to start off, we're gonna grab our pencil and today I'm gonna be using the Goof Poof, Goof Proof brow pencil from Benefit. This is the shade gray. Let's start this off the right way. So here are my rules for perfect brows. Rule number one, make sure that the color is correct. Your eyebrows should be, I would say two to three shades lighter than your hair color. And when I say hair color, uh, try matching from the root. And if your hair color is extremely light, then make sure to go three shades deeper than your root. The ugliest brows are always the ones that are drawn on too dark, too bold, just too much of everything. A lot of people can pull off bold brows, but that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about when your brows are too dark to the point where it does not match the rest of your face. So number two is gonna be using the golden ratio. And the golden ratio is very, very easy to spot. I'm gonna show you a really easy way to just measure it out and it'll be so simple. I'm not even gonna show you guys the formula. I will not do that to you. And the final rule is, well, less is more. That kind of goes into rule number one, less is more. But the final rule is balance over symmetry. You want to make sure that your eyebrows balance with your entire face. Symmetry is extremely important, but don't obsess over it because our natural eyebrows are never going to be fully, fully symmetrical. So the more you fixate on uh, do it, fixing the symmetry, the less likely you're gonna get a flattering result in the end because you will overwork it. So let's get right into the brow tutorial. I'm going to extend my pencil a little bit and we're going to start off by going into rule number one. I picked the gray shade because it is a very flattering shade. You see, it's a warm gray. It's not even a true gray. See, this gray shade is perfect for Asian people, for people with black hair. I would never use a black pencil on black hair because that would be too dark. Next step, we're going to be measuring out our golden ratio. Don't worry, it's gonna be so easy. You start off, this is a common mapping technique, by the way. So instead of using mapping string, this is going to be the most uncomplicated version of eyebrow mapping. You're gonna take your pencil, and you're going to measure your front of the brow, your arch, and your brow tail. We're gonna be measuring this starting from the outer bulb of your nose, or it could be your nostril. It just depends on how close you want your eyebrows to be. So my anchor point, I'm just gonna mark it. My anchor point is gonna be right here against the bulb of my nose and putting my pencil along that anchor point, I'm going to mark one line for the front of the brows. So using the same anchor point, we're going to find our arch and finding our arch, we're going to angle this brow pencil so that your line will go straight through your iris and then it's gonna point this way. And this is where you wanna make your line. Do the same for the other side. And finally, taking our pencil, we're gonna rotate this so that your pencil is resting at the edge of your outer corner, the edge of your eye. And you see how it's pointing this way? We're gonna make our line right here that's gonna be your tail. 
Now we can start penciling in the brows. So just take your pencil and starting from the bottom of the brows, just kind of trace along the lines that you created. And one downside to not mapping the horizontal lines is that you run the risk of it not being fully symmetrical. So just make sure that the left and right are matching and they're even. We're just eyeballing it. This is supposed to be a very easy brow tutorial. So we're only gonna be using the diagonals as our frame and everything else is pretty much, you just cut, you just kind of have to eyeball it without mapping it. And of course, nobody would do permanent makeup like this. We're just talking about uh, how to pencil in your eyebrows with ease and with better results than if you weren't to map these out. Drawing our bottom line from the fronts of the brows, right? Draw it towards the arch and then let it fall to the tail. And our diagonal lines play a big part in guiding our hands. Having these lines drawn out makes it a lot simpler to draw from this point to this point and from this point to this point, it's just faster. And now we're gonna take the back of our spoolie and we're gonna go from the base upwards. We're going to just swipe and blend out this line that we just created. And I think I could have gone a little lighter handed with this line. I think it's a little bit too heavy handed, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. So I'm just gonna brush this color up into my brows. And it's important to start from the bottom, brushing it upward because you don't want it, you want it to look natural. And when you want natural looking results, you have to follow your brows based on the natural hair growth. And when blending it, make sure not to blend it out too much. I would suggest reducing your pressure as soon as you hit the end of that hair, of that natural hair. So this part comes with practice. You do need to have a sense of control to know when to stop brushing your brows through. You wanna make sure that it's not overly blended and the color doesn't run outside of the general frame of your eyebrows. We haven't mapped the whole thing, so I'm sure that it's not as easy as it looks. But of course, it comes with practice. Everything good comes with practice. So this is done, our eyebrows are blended, and I think this was a pretty easy way to do the eyebrows. I think that the eyebrows are decently symmetrical, there's nothing wrong with them. I don't think it's a big deal cleaning up the remains of these little markings. You just go into your concealer shade, or you can just take your finger and just wipe it away. Honestly, yeah, just take your finger and wipe all of this off. I'll just come back up over the arch a little bit. But honestly, you could have just left the brows like that and they would have looked just fine. It would have looked very clean girl, no makeup makeup. And then you just won't be filling in the front of the brows because you already blended it in. And this part's totally optional. You can take a clean brush or you can take a brush with concealer and just clean up the edges if you want more of a carved out look, which I, I can't imagine anybody would want that. It's 2023. so. Yeah, this is a really nice way to do your brows. Of course, it's not perfect. It's mostly, this tutorial is mostly made to make the process a lot easier and for you to kind of incorporate some brow mapping tricks to get your eyebrows to look better, to look more flattering to your face shape. And this is also nice for beginners if you don't know where to start on how to do your brows. I think these are really good training wheels to have. Just make these three markings and just practice, practice, practice until you naturally attune your eyes to the proper proportions. And then you can just draw on your eyebrows easily daily with a, nothing but a pencil and a spoolie and it'll be so easy. Let me know in the comments if this is the easiest brow tutorial. I feel like this, I feel like it can't get any easier than this. I don't know. I feel like it just can't get any simpler, any more watered down than this right here. So 
If you guys are beginners, let me know how this video worked for you. Let me know if you guys want any more tips and tricks on how to do brows. This is kind of my stock and trade. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video today. Thank you guys so much for joining me on Beauty Talk and I will see you in the next one.